I had the opportunity to join the Families First board about 10 years ago. I selected Families First because it was a really good agency, great mission, great leadership, and great practitioners. We initially started with going into St. Mary's Hospital when a child was born and in what is called the Level 3 Nursery or Regional Perinatal Intensive Care Unit. From there, we would meet the mom right after she gave birth and really talk about services and what we need to set up for her so that the child could reach his or her developmental potential within a five-year period. I have a new grandson and I'm reminded again about how important what happens in their life is. Is. There's always something that we do um, through the season to share every year, through the luncheon, through everything. There's always people that we help. All of the different programs that the organization has dealing with children just warms my heart. Having a group of people and, and, and uh, programs in place that can really nurture that, mm -hmm. you know, for families that, that don't have maybe the money or maybe the, the family structure or, you know, are just going through really tough times. Being able to help them through that process, um, you know, that, that's just going to make a better community, both financially and, and just, just for everyone. So many children get locked into an environment and a, and a home life that's not conducive to them being successful. Some parents just don't have the knowledge or the education to be able to do the right things. And it's a program like Families First that helps them get on track to be successful as a family and to have an opportunity at success. A child, you really don't have any say so, or, or this or that. And you're really hoping that someone, anyone, will help. One thing that really um, hit home for me is working with a family. She was a single parent, raised them five kids on her own, who really did not know what direction to go in in terms of being able to thrive and reach her goals in terms of education and really being able to parent her children. But so many times because of substance abuse I've seen children abandoned by their natural parents where grandparents have had to come in and raise those children. The grandparents are in their 70s and some in their 80s and, they, and they've struggled. It's very difficult for them to readjust and become a parent again for some very young child. And the kin support program at Families First has been wonderful. We have so many uh, great potential children out there who have, many of them have some real obstacles to overcome. And if we can, we help them individually. And we also help our society. And that's with Families First. You know, we're strengthening families to strengthen our communities. A lot of things that I talk about is basically the, the results of their programs. Um, also, uh, the impact of where the money stays. The money stays here in Palm Beach County. So everything that's being raised, fundraised, staying right here to help those families. Families First is about the families. They're about caring and sharing. Uh, we work with some amazing organizations. We have partnerships in Palm Beach County. There's versatility in what the agency does in terms of the clientele that we serve and the families that we're making a difference in. So I was really attracted to the mission of Families First and got involved and uh, ultimately joined the board and I've just uh, found my time here to be very fulfilling personally and also uh, enjoy helping families around Palm Beach County. I stay on the board because of the value of the program of Families First and uh, what they do and how successful they are and how well respected in the community. I'm proud to be a board member. I couldn't be happier being a board member with Families First. If you don't know Families First, you should get to know us, get to know our program, see the people that we're helping, see how you can help us. Thank you.
do that.